my name is Bill Moyers, and today, and in memory of you, the years left in Joseph Campbell's life, we had many lectures during the summers. Joseph Campbell, unfortunately, <laughs> went blind because he gouged out his eyes because he was disgusted in the human race. Horrible, horrible death. Poor eyeballs. I, on the other hand, am perfectly fine. I went back in time until I was a teenager. My hair grew back, and it's now proud again. I'm here today with Joseph Campbell in one of his very famous documentaries that I'm doing. Again, Joseph Campbell is blind, so he doesn't really know where he is right now. Uh, this is Joseph Campbell and his pet dog that leads him around. Joseph Campbell, you need the dog. Yes, um, where are we? We're in your house. Yes, um, I knew that. Where's my dog? I don't know where your dog is. Okay, so. okay, he's good, he's good. Are we going to begin this? Bit? Yes, yes, yes. Sometime? What is myth? Joseph Campbell, what is myth? Well, I think myth is... Over here, Mr. Campbell. Where? Over here. Where? Over <coughs> here. Yes, yes, there. That, there. That's good, that's good. Well, I believe that we are learned from... Myth is... Stories, okay. So, myths are stories. And people believe stories, so that makes myth. And... People understand stories and believe stories enough to think of myth. Or kind of like how I believe in the idea of Santa Claus. Or the Easter Bunny. So wait, you believe in Santa Claus? Or the Easter Bunny? Maybe. I, I believe that... I believe but in I thought the, life had a meaning. Well, you know, you're making this kind of tough on me. You can't see me, so you can't hear me. <laughs> I didn't know what's over here. That's a wall. Well, anyway, finish the I'll get you here. some other time. Well, so, yes, I believe in the idea of Santa Claus and Easter Bunny. Alright, next question. Well, I'm not done yet. <laughs> finish. Well, the bunny, the Easter Bunny is a myth because it might, it's not real, but I still believe in it. It's my belief. Okay. Interesting. How is myth evident in modern life? Hmm. Well, myth is evident in modern life by, let's see, well, if you take if you take the idea of like still nowadays people little kids or me believing in Santa Claus or Indian people playing drums, they still do it for a mythological reason because they believe in whatever they believe in. What was that? No clue. Okay. Now back to the next question. Okay. <laughs> what is the most impacting thing you've ever taught, Mr. Campbell? Well. Hmm. Let's see. I've taught many kids many things about how to live their life. But none of them really listen to me. So you're a psychiatrist? Yes. yes I am. Um, I'm one of those mythological psychi psychiatrists. People. Oh, oh, yes, I know those very well. Yes. Um, uh, anyone make an appointment with me, just, just call the number at the bottom of the screen, and I'll get to you. But, yes, what, what was the question again? What's the most impacting thing you've ever taught? Okay. Well, like I said, um, I teach, 
taught kids about how to live their life and how there is a meaning of life. Well, I thought you said life was a geological phase. Yes, yes it is, but there is still a meaning to that, whatever that big word means. I found it when I was reading um, a dinosaur book about... Um, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, yes. Yes. You don't and say. I found that word in that book, so I took it, and it seems to be a good word, so I've used it in what I've thought of. So, how, how, how does myth affect your life, Mr. Campbell? Well, what is your bliss path? Well, I don't really have one anymore, but, um... Because you have cancer. Yes. Oh, wow. Well. Yes, it's so very sad. Bad, bad, yeah, sad. Yes. Completely. Yes. Completely sad. Yes. It's, it's, it started on my back right there, and it grew up every time. I thought it was in your throat. Um, yes, but it started from my back. But what was... Whatever you say. What was the question again? How did myth affect your life? And, yeah. Well, it made me think, oh, now I believe that I need to follow my bliss path, even though it's not really anything anymore. Um, I'm going to die soon, so my bliss path is to die. And it's affected my life because it's, it's taught me what I need to know. And to teach others. Okay, well that concludes our day with Mr. Campbell. We're sorry to say that that was the last time I got to see Mr. Campbell alive. He died in 1987 by supposedly esophageal cancer. But what he sounds like he had back cancer. I can't say much anymore besides the fact that he's dead. This is Lesson 1 in Buffalo Hunting with Bill Moyers. And we sit and we wait. My buffalo senses are tingling. Victory is mine.